And the bottom right, under the banner of Pass Gaming, as the yellow Zerg, we have Xenon. Winning the last game in a pretty scary way. Almost losing everything. And in the bottom left, for strategic innovation, as the purple Zerg, we have Zane. Alright, so we had a double extractor trick here for Zane. <clears throat> Very odd thing to do. Already losing 12 minerals at the beginning of the game. So we'll have to see what he decides to do with that. We do have a hatchery coming down here. For Xenon, and a hatchery as well coming down here for Zane. Both of them at 17, but we have a slightly faster hatchery here for Xenon. Oh, and we have a very loud follow. Thank you very much, Vizen. I do appreciate it. I'm going to have to tone down the volume on that a little bit. <laughs> but anyway. So we go for we see Zane going for a hatch gas pool, and we see Xenon going for a hatch gas pool. Same exact opener. Both players. You can see mirror builds in the production tab. <laughs> Looks like uh, strategic, strategic Innovation putting their money on a past gaming member, Xenon. Very nice of them. <laughs> so anyway, mirror builds here from both players. Not really much to go off here. We'll have to see when they decide to stop droning and when they decide to produce units. But it looks like both players have now successfully scouted each other and they know where each other are at. And we'll have to see what happens from there. Okay, anyway, <laughs> reading the chat. Do I need to mod somebody, guys? Do I need to make someone a moderator so things stay civil? No, I'm just kidding. So... We see two Zerglings in production. We have two Queens, six Lings in production here from Zane. A more Zerg versus Terran style opener. Um, not really needed to make that many Zerglings. Not when you've scouted your opponent and know that they're also going for a hatchery first opener. <coughs> but we have a quick Banely Nest coming out here for our purple Zerg player. So definitely a little bit of a window here for some Banely aggression to take place. Overlord is moving to good locations, I would say. <laughs> wonder if Zane will try to hide his true link count and go for a surprise attack. That is certainly possible. So let's check the vision here. Uh, I'd say we have definitely a better vision here for Xenon. We've got Overlords in better positions here. We can see the ramp of the main base, always very important. And we can see the main attack path here for Zane. Um, on Zane's side, he can see the main attack path, but beyond that, he has no idea. <clears throat> so, we have one evolution chamber in production. Possibly going to be armor. We do see 160 gas has been pooled, so a plus one armor is a very likely candidate for this evolution chamber at some point in the near future. Or I could be totally wrong, because the layer came down. <laughs> Caster Curse. So a double evolution chamber here coming down from Zane. That's going to line up perfectly with his gas, unless he goes for a layer 2 and gives me the Caster Curse. And he'll be able to get 1-1 one, one right away, so it should be good for him. We do have a 12 Zerglings in production here. And it looks like, let's check his rallies, guys. No, his rallies are not in a hiding, like a hidden position. So, these lings definitely just being shown outright. Goes right under the Overlord with them. That's an interesting move. So, now Xenon is fully aware of this, and we see two spine crawlers coming down. Uh, one spine for Zane as well. Very interesting. Uh, but the third base has finished here for Xenon, and I would assume that we're going to see a move out here from Zane to try to take it out. We do see an attack command here by the third base of Zane. And thank you for following Rocky. We do appreciate it. Thank you. And Zerglings here following these Zerglings over here for Xenon. And we got the rest of the Lings splitting off, moving here to the third base here of Xenon. One queen is here, but that's not going to be enough. And okay, it looks like the Zerglings have decided to move over to the, the natural. They saw all the spine crawlers and then ran away. 
And now the third base is under attack here by Xenon. Queen under under siege. Four Zerglings attacking this queen. And it's going to fall. This drone is going to die. And now the third base is under attack. We need to see some Zerglings here from Xenon to move up into the net, or into the third here and defend himself. And not enough units. They're trickling in at too few numbers. Good surrounds here by Zane's Zerglings. And each Zergling from Xenon is falling. Um, definitely need to see this third base saved. We have a Spire in production for both players. But this third base is absolutely instrumental in Xenon securing a victory in this game. Any gas that he is able to mine off of this third base is going to be extra gas that his opponent will not have. We can see the gas amount for both players basically even. It's, it's very close to even for both players. So every little bit of gas is absolutely essential in surviving. So we have one extra geyser coming down here from Xenon. If he can get just a few drones into this geyser, he's going to be in a really good position here a couple minutes from now. Um, we do have Mutas in production here for both players. Um, one huge problem here that Xenon's run into is that he had to build those Zerglings, and now he doesn't have the money to make his Mutalisk. So once Zane's Spire is finished, uh, Zane's going to be able to build 10 Mutalisk all at once. Third base of Zane is getting attacked. It's going to fall. There's no there's no chance for it to survive. But 10 Mutas in production, guys. We need to see Spore Crawlers go down, definitely. And we need to see Xenon treat these, these Mutalisk of... Uh, Zane, sort of like Phoenix. Oh, big Bailing connection. Loses a bunch of Bailings there. Let's check the units lost tab. So, slightly in favor here of Zane. But yeah, we need to see these uh, Mutalisk for Zane. Um, be, well, rather, Xenon needs to treat these Mutalisks of Zane's at, like Phoenix and just kind of spore up in Turtle. Because uh, definitely at a deficit here at Mutalisk. Let me check units. Yeah, we're at 10 Mutalisk to 3. And... Definitely very concerning here for, for Xenon. No, uh, no spores here in the third base. And we do have Zerglings coming in here. It looks like a bunch of them just died to a couple Banelings. And now we have Mutalisks at the third base sieging it. Not enough Mutalisks here for Xenon to actually deal with these. So what, he's going to lose his third base, absolutely. There's nothing he can do about it. Third base has fallen. And we can check the units tab. But... It looks like Xenon's starting to catch up here in Mutalisk. But Zane looking in a pretty good position here, that's for sure. Probably wants to cancel these Mutalisk. Nope, okay. Yeah, definitely in a good position here for Zane. We can check the uh, army value. So this is probably where our Mutalisk are. Uh, let's check. We do have four roaches out, so that's 100 gas. So they're roughly even in terms of Mutalisk count. Maybe a few, a couple in favor here of Zane. Nope, I was wrong. Because things just popped out as I was doing that. But, um... So, Xenon has come back in terms of Mutalisk production. But his third base has fallen, and now the third base of Zane has finished. So, Zane is now in favor. Is now favored when it comes to economy. And Xenon now needs to do something with his 16 Mutalisk. Three more than his opponent. Try to make something happen here. Now, I will say... That Xenon does have upgrades for his Mutalisk. Yeah. So that actually makes the engagement highly favor uh, Xenon. <clears throat> uh, armor is very, very important in Mutalisk versus Mutalisk engagements. It mitigates a huge amount of damage from the splash of the Glaive Worms. But this uh, hatchery taking a lot of damage. Mutalisk taking it out. We just have both players not stop producing Mutalisk. As much as they can. And it looks like the armor is going to finish up here for Zane. So that little window that Xenon had to, to close out a kill on this third base is gone. We got plus one attack here for Xenon coming down. So he's got a slight advantage on that. Um, another window could open up with plus one attack. We'll have to see what that turns into. Looks like we're going to see a plus two armor come down here for Zane. Oh, we got a big attack here. Let's see if they're actually going to commit. Nope. Okay. So, no armor. Okay, we got a plus one attack coming down from Zane. Didn't decide to go for his armor instead. Plus two armor. Oop. My bad. Just uh, got dropped down there. Okay. So, we do have an infestation pit on the way for Zane. And the third base getting poked at by the Mutalisk. But I'm really worried for Xenon. That's for sure. He's fallen behind in his uh, economy. And now his opponent's getting a fourth base even. 
and you can see the supply difference is starting to spiral out of control. We have three bases fully saturated, four desert player from strategic innovation, and even a hive on the way. A couple mutalists getting picked off here. That's pretty big. Let's check the units tab. 26 mutalists versus 20. Um, Xena is right on top of this. Not enough mutalisk for Zane. That was a really good engagement for Xena, definitely. Check units loss tab. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely a good engagement. So, Xenon needed to work on his economy a little bit. He's got to get this fourth base going. Maybe even take out the fourth base of his opponent. And it looks like the Infestation Pit is just going to get taken out for free. Not free, I guess. But we got a Queen in here fighting him with the engagement. Bunch of Mutalisk here for Xenon, but I'm not sure if it's going to work out for him. It's a very close battle. Queen doing quite a bit of damage. Needs to get out of there, that's for sure. You check the units tab. Still a lot of units for Xenon. A lot of Mutalisk. Needs to be very careful, though. Uh, Zergling counterattack moving over here to the third base. Nothing here to defend whatsoever. Um, all these drones are going to fall, surely. There's, I mean, he needs to micro really quickly. Two Banes moving up here. Oh, oh, huge connections. Needs to take out these few uh, Zerglings before they kill the rest of the drones, though. And he does manage to hold on to his third without losing too many drones. Looks like the rest of Zane's army is going to get cleaned up here. But this, this Zerg's economy over here, Zane's economy, it's spiraling out of control. And we have a Viper on the way, guys. One Viper. Now, if the splits are really good by Xenon, the Viper will be absolutely worthless and it'll be a waste of gas. But if they're not, then we could see a huge amount of damage come down from that Viper. And we need to see this fourth base of Zane's get killed. We are definitely facing an economy. Oh, more than one Viper would be preferred. But yeah, we're, we're seeing an economy here by Zane that is out of control. But Mutalus moving up here into the third base. Going to take out that Spore. Yep, taking out that Spore real quick. And now the Queen. And the next Mutalisk. And, yeah, and the last Spore Crawler. And now the Drone Line is getting ravaged here. All these drones are falling. A couple of Mutalisk here. And we got a big Muta battle, you guys. We got one Viper in the battle, but it does not have enough energy for a Parasitic Bomb. And all the Mutalisks are getting wiped out here by Zane. Every single Mutalisk is falling. And Xenon was the victor of that battle by far. You can check the Units tab. We are at 33 Mutalisk 2-8. And we can check the Units Loss tab grossly in favor of Xenon. Third base here being Siege. Viper is going to fall, surely. One Mutalisk poking away at it. Glaivorns taking out the third base. And I do not think that Zane has any chance of coming back here. 40 Zerglings in production, though. Going to try to do some sort of link counterattack. Try to get himself back into the game economically. Nope, he's moving down here into his natural expansion. Not going for a Zergling counterattack. we got Zerglings moving over here from Xenon to the fourth base of Zane. And that's going to be the game, you guys. I, I think once all these drones are go down, he's going to call it. We do have Vipers still in production, but... He's going to need some absolutely insane par parasitic bombs in order to take out this Mutalisk flock. So a lot of Zerglings actually out here for Zane. Um, outrageous amount of Mutalisks out for Xenon. Going to be able to clean up this whole base, the whole economy of Zane falling. Third base getting taken out. Probably see these Zerglings move out across the map, but it's not really going to do much. Now all Xenon needs to do is fall back to his fourth base and defend. So let's see where these Vipers ended up. Oh, it looks like they ended up dying. That's unfortunate. I was actually really liking to see uh, Corrosive Biles. Very, very unfortunate. Anyway, so Banelings here in the third base. Looking to take out a whole bunch of Zerglings. And they're going up here into the fourth base here. Taking out a Queen, taking out some drones, going for an Extractor. But the Banelings, they're going to be savage. And it looks like the Zerglings getting out with, with their lives. And out. Uh, I don't see this game going on for too much longer here. Zane has been beaten back. His third and his fourth have been killed. Mutalisk getting right on top of these Zerglings. And we do have a plus one, plus one for Xenon with his Mutalisk. And we do have plus two on the way as well. So we have a clump here of Mutalisk for Zane. We can check the amount. It is 45 Mutalisk, 217. Just waiting on the final engagement here from Xenon to finally close out the game. Game number four. Flying in here into the main base, taking out the queen, taking out the spore, killing the hive, not taking out the spore, 
Losing Mutalisks to the Spore. Continuing to lose Mutalisk to the Spore. <laughs> Four. Five? Nope, not five. Anyway, too many Mutalisks for Xenon. Nothing that can be done by Zane to take these out. We can go back to the production tab. Just some Zerglings in production. Some Zerglings moving across the map by Zane. Trying to get some damage done. But this has spines. This has lings. There's nothing that he can do. And the Zerglings moving in here. Running right past the spines. Mutal is coming back to the main to defend. Queen getting surrounded. Getting taken out pretty quick by these uh, plus one Zerglings. But they're all going to fall. Spire is saved. And the Mutalisk moving back across the map over to Zane's base. Looking to close this out once and for all. Back to the units tab. We're still at a 2 to 1 ratio in terms of Xenon's Mutalisk to Zane's. So no concern whatsoever by Xenon. Freely move across the map with these Mutalisk. His opponent economically crippled. Incapable of producing any infestors. And the front wall here of Zane. Getting taken out. Spore is getting killed. Mutal is coming down here from Zane. Trying to deal with these. But there's just too many Mutas here from Xenon. And they're they're getting on top of those. Oh, and he's just spamming micro. And the Mutal is getting taken out here by Zane. Zane doing a pretty good job of microing what he's got, but it's not gonna be enough. And GG is called. Game number four of the past gaming versus strategic innovation clan war finished and the Clint War is now tied.